What's going on YouTube? It's your, your boy Dwayne from Always Accurate Media Group. Just got off work about an hour or so ago. Decided I would uh, come in, sit down and do a quick video for you guys. Let you guys know what was going on. But as soon as I walked in the house, I noticed one thing that the, the damn air conditioning was, you know, was not working or the heat was not working. So I then re I remember that over the Thanksgiving break, what I did, I, I turned off the heat and air unit. And I did that because I have a whole house fan here in the, in the house. And it was extremely nice outside. So I decided I would go ahead and let the whole house fan just kind of pull some of that cool air in through the house. So that's how I've been heating and cooling my house for the last week. So, well, for the last weekend. So I forgot that it was it was off. And it's been off now for about three or four days. So I had to turn my heat back on. But now we, we back up to par. But nonetheless, let's get into what I, I want to make this video about. It's about a new server closet that I'm, I'm currently working on trying to get everything in I just got the 25U StarTech rack in and I got the uh, the uh, trip light AC unit in and my goal with this with this project is to create that that cool uh, and uh, that cool aisle and that that hot aisle so what I'm gonna do is all the air that's coming out the back of the servers and out the back of the switches are gonna go into a, like a little area and then it's going to be sucked out into the attic and the air condition is going to be have a special uh, trip light adapted to it and then that's going to be sucked into the attic as well through a different pipe so that the air condition is not mixing with the with the uh, hot air and, and heating up the servers and the switches and things because they're going to be in the same 25u uh, StarTech rack so um without further ado let's get on to, to the video what's going on everybody welcome to my office uh, this is my network closet, as you can see. It's a little junky right now, but I'm in the process of redoing everything. So I'm tearing everything out. I'm trying to redo everything. Uh, I got all my cables running down from the attic to different parts of that's coming in from different parts of, of the house. So I'm going to be ripping all that out, and I got all my power cables and everything down here. Uh, one one rack that I have is this new Case Labs. Well, it's not new. I've had it for about a year or two before Case Labs went out of business. But it's the Case Labs, uh, I think it's the TH10 or something like that. It's the biggest rack that, that Case Labs made. So I got this, and what I have is I have two computers in it currently. I got a 10 core uh, Intel 6950X on this side, and I got a 6 core on the other side that I use for file services and all that. Uh, I also have all my, my my hard drives and everything up top here, which I'm building that up. So I'm, I'm in the process of changing everything out, guys. So in the next week or two, all my all my uh, my servers and everything is going to be coming in, so I'm going to be switching some servers out and getting everything on board here. My plan for this closet, this closet was originally planned for me to just close everything up, but the problem was I got some some uh, thermostats in there, and the thermostats were getting a little hot. The, this this server closet was getting in the 80, 90 degree range, and then when I when I came into the into the the, the room, the room was getting pretty hot as well. So what I did, I bought a new Case Labs, I'm sorry, a new StarTech 25U rack, four post rack, open uh, open frame. So I bought that and it's about the same size as this as this Case Labs rack. And what I'm what I'm planning on doing guys is I'm gonna put the Case Labs rack basically here, and then I'm gonna put the StarTech rack here. I'm gonna build this out to en encompass the Case Labs rack and the StarTech rack in the same area. But I'm going to put a wall in between them, and um, I'm going to build me a, a shelf, a shelf pretty much to come back over top of this of this case labs right here, and it's going to stop about right here. And then some another piece that comes down there that's going to separate the hot air from the back of the actual rack of the actual servers, the computers in here into an area, and I'm going to pipe that into the area where the servers are, and then I'm going to go up into the attic, and then I'm going to have a, a separate um duct that's going to pull all the hot air out of, out of that area. Also, I'm going to put a trip light uh, rack mount server, I mean, I'm sorry, rack mount uh, AC unit in the 25U rack. And that's going to come with a ducking kit. I'm going to duck that kit up into the attic and then it's going to be separated, uh, separate from the actual switches and everything so it doesn't heat the, heat the, um, the uh, sw um, uh, switches up. And it's going to be piped straight out on a dedicated line into the attic 
and then out into the atmosphere. So um, let me know what you think. Do you think that would work? I think it, it'll be okay as far as keeping it down, as far as getting the air that I heat that's going to be heated up from the switches and the server. I'm going to put a, a Infinity six inch um, inline fan, and it's going to basically suck the air out of that area and out of from behind the, the uh, server rack into the attic as well. But it's going to be on a different on a different um, on a different path than what's coming off off the AC unit. So. That's my plan right now for this area. So, you know, leave your comments down in the uh, the uh, comment section. Do you think that would work? And hopefully that would keep the air in the, this this room a little bit cooler and it would keep my servers and my switches a little bit cooler. There'd be a more in-depth uh, video coming on my actual network guys and what I have set up in my network and everything. So stay tuned for that. But for right now, the big project is to get all this cleaned up and get it all built out and then get the uh, 25U rack into the into this into this closet and built out and painted and everything and, and looking pretty nice and get all the ducking work done so to get the air out of the hot air out of the room. Okay guys, this is my new um, 25U four pole StarTech rack. This is an all steel rack. It's uh it's on casters. As you can see it's a little bit higher. They said it was 40 some inches tall. 45 inches, so I guess that's without the caster, so it's a little bit higher than my case labs rack, which is not a big deal. I can still build out a frame that uh, en encompass both of those of those uh, of both of these racks. So the intent is to push this back in the closet. It's going to stick out about six inches, but I like that because I got about 12 inches. If you look at this wall, right at this wall here, got about 12 inches on that wall uh, right behind me here. This side, so you can see what I'm talking about here on this wall here. So it's got about I got about 12 inches to play with from the outside of this wall to here, and the rack is going to come off to about halfway. And what that's going to do for me, guys, is that's going to give me the ability to um to create a shelf right there where I can put my keyboards and everything, or any kind of peripherals that I want to put on on, any, on anything, and stain it real nice, give it like a, a fireplace type vibe. If you, you know, I think that would look pretty nice. So I'm gonna see what that come out looking like. Um, but this is the 25U rack. It's, it's solid. I was really impressed by the build quality of this of this um, StarTech rack. It's all steel construction. It goes together perfectly. I mean, they got everything. Is just you just follow the instructions. It's like one uh, one or two pages on the instructional manual, and everything bolts together. They give you like two extra bolts just in case you actually lose one. But other than that, everything fits together perfect. Uh, just waiting to start working on it. So I'm probably gonna rip the, the, the servers out of this rack right here uh, I only have one server in there and my main uh, Management server that's in there So I'm probably gonna rip that out and then just put that like on top or something and then take that rack out Currently I have uh, With these two racks. I have another rack that I bought from nap point that I don't use uh, It was too short. I thought it was gonna be enough space, but None of my switches did not fit in that rack, so I basically just put it out in the shed because, you know, if you ever buy a rack, make sure you get the right depth because if you don't, you can't, if, you can send it back, but it's, you know, I drive for a trucking company and they, you pay by the weight, so it's going to cost you a lot of money. It's not even worth it, so you just kind of like, you just have to luck on that. So I'm going to take these two racks down. Everything in these racks are going to go in this 25U rack and with the the air conditioning on the bottom and everything, and everything being piped out of the room, I think we should be able to keep this room a little bit cooler and a lot easier to work on. But stay tuned for my 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 total network setup, guys, and everything that I have going on. I like to run ubiquity stuff, and I explain all that in a follow-up video. All right, all right. Again, uh, my name is Dwayne Eady. I'm with Always Accurate Media Group. You know, if you like this kind of content, uh, follow me along on this journey as I get everything back together and. Uh, build out my smart home and get all my network back up and running. All right. Good talking to you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.